Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Auto Guy DIY, coming at you today in the 2003 third generation Ram 1500 with that 5.7 liter Hemi. So today I want to get into the topic of the electronic throttle control. So I'm not having a problem with it, but I have had an issue with it. I'm going to run through the symptoms I had and then show you what I had to replace. So stick with me and we'll get right into this. So if your ETC or electronic throttle control system is starting to mess up, this is the warning light you're looking for, the lightning bolt in the backwards parentheses there. So that will be your light for your electronic throttle control system. For myself, the truck, when it came on, I was going down the freeway, cruising like 65, and the truck just started acting funny the throttle started acting funny like the position of it i would give it gas and it would be decelerating and then i would give it gas and it would go and then another thing that i noticed was that it would not shift out of second gear i could get first second but that was it it would stay in second and the whole time the light was flashing it never stayed on consistently it just flashed so I pulled over, I killed the truck. I didn't know what was going on. It was the first time I had ever dealt with the situation. This was probably three years ago with the truck. Um, I'll hop underneath the hood here in a second. I'll show you what I'm talking about, what the ETC on the 03 Ram 1500, what it runs, um, and what I had to get into replacing to fix the problem. So to continue with the story, so I noticed that when I started the truck back up, the light was off and I got probably five or 10 miles down the road, right? And then it came back on, same problem. Truck started doing the same thing. But I noticed that whenever I would rev the truck up and let it come back down, the throttle plate in there would search to find this correct position. So I'm gonna show you this real quick. So this here is your throttle cable. It comes to this sensor right here that's behind this this case right there right and that connects to the pcm which sends a signal up here to the to the uh, sensor on the side of your throttle body which is to help you maintain you know the correct position according to how much pedal you're giving it in the truck so once i got to the house and i started looking into it and you know trying to figure out why i was doing what it was doing um, I realized that what it was doing was that that throttle body could not correctly read that sensor had played out in there and it was not correctly reading the PCM on what I was giving it the gas in the truck. So as much pedal as I was giving it, that throttle body wasn't, wasn't responding correctly. So what I had to get into was buying a new throttle body, a whole unit, from the auto parts, $305 is what it cost me. I slapped it on right there in the parking lot. Like I couldn't even hardly move the truck. Like I said, I'd start it up and the more I would kill it and start it up, it would get worse. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I just unplugged, I didn't even undo my battery. I unplugged it, unbolted it off the truck, slapped the new one on, plugged it in, truck fired right up. And just for a quick second, it kind of did that worm, worm, worm. You could hear the, the idle of the truck searching for its proper position. And then it did that and it went right back to normal. And I haven't had a single issue since. The lights never came back on. The idle's never been funny. Um, the trucks always ran fine. So if that's the issue you're having on your 03 Ram 1500 with the Hemis without the MDS system, then that's what you need to look into replacing especially if you notice that your idle is searching you know for the proper position it won't just idle steady you can hear that engine kind of run 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 you know like that like that throttle body's moving in there then replace that and that should fix your problem 100 percent you shouldn't need any programming or special tools to do it i think it's an eight millimeter as a matter of fact if you refer to my throttle body removal and cleaning video it'll also show you everything you need to know on how to remove it and then besides that it's as simple as that guys so with all that keep living the dream doing your thing like and subscribe always get at me with a comment 
and I'll be rolling out.